Welcome again to Microscan's Machine Vision Lighting Training Series. This presentation will discuss machine vision lighting geometry. Geometry defines how lighting will behave in a given application. It can be controlled by the shape, size, and position of a light source. In this presentation, we'll cover the basic concepts of lighting geometry. When light strikes an object, its energy remains constant and is distributed in different ways. A solid object will typically reflect light in a specular or diffuse manner, while a translucent material will absorb light. Absorbed light can be both emitted from the material and transmitted through the material, or alternately converted to heat energy. There are three basic types of reflections, specular, diffuse, and spread. A smooth mirror-like surface reflects light away from a camera in a specular fashion. A rough texture scatters light back toward a camera in a diffuse fashion. A combination of both effects is referred to as a spread reflection. A piece of paper could either be specular or diffuse, or most likely a combination of the two. If you can imagine a glossy label, it would have highly specular properties, whereas standard printer paper has much more of a matte finish and would reflect light in a diffuse manner. Now let's explore the concept of the W. If we draw lines from a hypothetical point of a lens to the widest point of a field of view, we create a viewing angle. If we symmetrically reflect that viewing angle once more, we create a W shape. The W shape defines two fundamental zones of illumination, bright field within the W and dark field outside of the W. The position of a light source will determine what type of lighting will result. Bright field illumination creates high contrast, but typically must be diffuse and uniform to avoid specular hotspots from light reflecting back directly into the camera. In this example, placing the light source within the bright field zone illuminates the face of the part and creates contrast against the desired feature. Because the desired features are facing the camera, whereas the background may not be, light is directly reflecting and showing once again, the position of light source will determine what type of lighting will result. A light source outside of the W reflects light away from the camera. The majority of dark field illumination reflects away from the camera, while only desired feature textures will reflect diffuse light back to the camera. In this example, placing the light source within the dark field zone illuminates only elevated features of the part. A clear outline of the engraving is then captured by the camera. When dealing with challenging applications, such as inspecting print on wrinkled foil, the solid angle of light coverage is critical. When referring to a solid angle, the goal is typically to provide uniform lighting within the angle. The degree of coverage is application dependent. In this example, wide angle light coverage provides an area of uniform light in both the bright and dark field zones. The result is superior contrast as seen in the bottom right example. In conclusion, lighting geometry goes hand in hand with analyzing the features of a part. Understanding the basic principles of lighting geometry such as defining the W, bright and dark field illumination, and how reflections behave will ensure the best results in any application. To see more training presentations in this series, please visit us at microscan.com. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at training at microscan. Thank you for your time.